Howdy gang, Frankie Day here. Okay guys, uh, tonight's video number two for my winter project, the in uh, the Minicraft 1350 scale RMS Titanic. Uh, folks, I've pretty much been at this pretty much all day today, and uh, yesterday I was kind of fooling around with two a little bit, and um, so right now I've been uh, working on her, and uh, I should have another video of her probably uh, by Saturday. And I should have one of my loose chain probably by Friday. And um, I'm preparing for the uh, Clint Mad Modeler's um, Go Big Go Home group build. Featuring my 124 scale Airfix Hawker Hurricane. Okay guys, getting back to the Titanic. Uh, so far, taking off from the last video. I got the first class, staterooms, uh, promenade, uh, uh, walls all installed, decks all been installed, boat decks been installed. I got the bridge, uh, I got the bridge uh, superstructure all, all installed. I've been doing some painting here and there on it. And uh, I got the promenade uh, walls, the closure of the superstructure uh, along the side, the side walls of the, of the hull uh, completely uh, glued together and uh, assembled so nowhere to go but up and so the next video will be um, with the officers uh, the off officers countries uh, superstructure the bridge deck I have the boiler casings in I have the I also have um, the library the, the second class library the smoking room will, will be a uh, uh, structure will be installed too as well and uh, and this lane is deck furniture here and there beyond there all too. So I built so many of these Titanic spokes, I can practically build this thing without looking at the instructions. As a matter of fact, as far as I've been working on this right now, I haven't looked at the instructions. I just built this right out of taking parts out of the off the sprues because I this is probably about the fifteenth Titanic I built of this scale since it's since its release back in nineteen seventy four. <coughs> Pardon me, fellas. Anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and um, we'll zoom in a little bit and discuss uh, how much I've been done on her and uh, zoom out and uh, finish up the video and uh, that'll be that. So, you guys stay tuned right there and we'll zoom in over here and we'll take a look at the RMS Titanic see how she's shaking. Okay, gang. Here she is right here up close so far. I got the boat deck installed. I got the first class smoking lounge. The problem day walls all installed. The second class smoking room has been installed. And I've got the Ford bridge structures all installed. I got the promenade side walls, the closure of the bulkhead installed. And uh, this is removable folks. I got some railings and real work I got put on this thing and some other details I got put in there. And these are all glued down here, uh, what I've been working on. Poop deck comes off. I got the same treatment right there is done on, on, on the focal area. So I've got the, uh, pretty much at this phase right here. And she's a big ship as you can see, fellas. And um, a lot miles bigger than the Lusitania. The RS Titanic was the largest uh, moving object made by man in the early 20th century. And uh, they got bigger ever since the, the demise of the RMS Titanic. And uh, a lot more safety features are incorporated in today's uh, merchant navy and also in today's uh, cruise ships and you know, all ships in general because the Titanic uh, set a new standard, folks. I mean, it took something like this to wake up the world like man is infallible. I mean, when you live in the Edwardian age, everything is more inferior than God. And everything else, and that's when you get run into trouble. And it took 1,532 lives who lost their lives because of believing in something so stupid like that. And thinking man is more superior than God. Uh, I call the Armist Titanic the ship of complacency, the ship of dreams, Millionaire Special and the Ship of Widows. And uh, it's very shame. It's too bad they sent something like this out on a 
maiden voyage is only to be at the bottom of the North Atlantic. Uh, that's a waste right there. So the next video, folks, I'll have the officer's superstructure all done, and the bridge will be tied in up over here. And I'll have the top of the first class smoking room where the boiler casings will all be involved, where the funnels are at. And uh, waiting for my rail set to come in for it, so I won't be able to put the railings on until I get that. <clears throat> and I'll work on this a little bit tomorrow. And I'll go ahead and um, get loose tennis shaken up again. I'll have a video of that by the Saturday and have a video, another video of this by Friday. And uh, so I should have them pretty much uh, neck to neck right now. And uh, I probably should have it done probably maybe by next month, end of next month, or probably the middle of next month, February. So far in Ohio, folks, the weather has been kind of cold and it's kind of been warmed up a little bit. By the grace of God, we had a very beautiful day today. Blue skies, probably in the upper 40s. And. Uh, I'm going to cloud the sky, so we have a beautiful day today. And hopefully have a beautiful day tomorrow. Okay, guys, um, this is about as far as I got on her, and uh, so I'll probably, I'll, be, I'll probably dick around with it tonight a little bit. And uh, put it away and cover her up and get loose Taney out and get her prepared to work on her some more. And uh, that'll be that. And... Um, She's come along quite nicely, folks. This is kind of like a, a fast version of her not being done, and it's all been airbrushed. I've done some touch up here and there with a uh, with a paintbrush here and there that any holidays are left over, and all the top of the cap and rails were done, which were were, were shellac uh, were shellac either uh, mahogany or monkey pod they used on there. It was all done with, with Sharpie felt tip markers, which does a very nice job. And uh, she's getting there. Okay, and uh, that'd be that, folks. We'll zoom right out and finish up the video. Okay, guys, that uh, completes uh, video number two of my RMS Lusitania. And um, so I'm going to let both these things kind of dry for a little bit before I start get working any more on it. And uh, so all right now, after I finish uh, this video, I might just go ahead and give my YouTube land and check your fellas' work out and see how, you, see how you fellas are shaking. And uh, that'll be that for me tonight and go back to work tomorrow and come back off work and get cleaned up and do some more ships work on these, on the dynamic tool, uh, duel, the Titanic and Lusitania. Okay, guys, this is Frankie Day signing off right here. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. May God bless and please subscribe. And uh, you guys uh, take care, and we'll catch you Friday on the next video. Uh, it'll be uh, video number, I think, number number four on, on the Lusitania. And uh, that'll be video three on the Titanic. And uh, you guys take care of yourselves. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, boys. Y'all take care, man.